I, Timothy Selom Aguze, swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and here true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, and that I will, as in duty bound, honestly and faithfully defend her, her heirs and successors, in person, crown and dignity, against all enemies, and will observe and obey all orders of Her Majesty, her heirs and successors, and of the generals and officers set over me. This is a huge achievement and very well done for making it to this stage and you should be justifiably proud of yourselves. This has not been easy because you've been through quite an extended recruitment and selection process. You've attended the Army Development Selection Centre and we've obviously seen in you the requirements and qualities that we need for service in the British Army. Your commitment, effort, suitability and attainment have been rigorously assessed and you've clearly shown that you have the qualities that we need. However, when you go into training, it will be an entirely different matter altogether, and you should consider the following points. Self-belief. You can do it. You've already passed at the Army Development Selection Centre. You have the ability, and you've shown the proven fitness. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. When you get to the Army, when you start your training, you need to understand that you need to be a team player. You need to be honest, reliable and true to your immediate friends. They will need you and you will need them. Work together and you will achieve better results. At times training will be really tough and you will be cold, wet, miserable, tired, all of those great things that test our character. But you will ultimately enjoy the experience. You will need considerable mental effort and application to succeed and I recommend that you do not hide from hardship and expect to be rewarded for your efforts. The common military syllabus has been created to turn you into basic soldiers and you will have to work hard at it. While studying in Ghana, Timothy kept himself busy. He was a secretary of the business club at university and he also did voluntary work in the mental health sector. I'm sure that you can guess from what I have said so far, Timothy's job choice is a combat medical technician. And there is a book on British soldiers' values and standards Excellent. Well, I feel very happy because it wasn't an easy journey. Well, um, when I started, there were ups and downs, just like the sergeant said. And um, during selection, it was really, really tough. The fiscal aspect, um, most importantly, I felt like giving up at a point in time. But then I was encouraged, and this is what I wanted to do. So, so right now, I'm very proud of myself for being through it, and I hope to become a good soldier one day. When talking to Harsha, the impression you get is that he is a person who wants to succeed in everything he does, and to the best of his ability. When he attended pre-selection, he achieved impressive results throughout, particularly in the fitness tests. Harsha is looking to emulate his father and make his family proud of his achievements. Values and standards of a British show. Thank you. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. But I think my wife is very happy as well. And the way that I'm spent the past 10 months and being my life, I just uh, passed a lot of barriers in my life, a lot of up and downs, and a lot of suffering. And on, I'm now 27 years old. I think this is the best achievement that I've got. It's the best step to move forward in my life because we never know when we're going older but when you were staying in the army you'll be more younger because fitness and make you happy. I was pleased to offer Callum his second job choice as a vehicle mechanic in the Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers. This of course was on the proviso that you achieve the GCSE grades for that trade. It's very hard for, as a recruiter not to feel the ups and downs um, of the recruiting journey. So I'd like to thank Callum for making me feel like it was me waiting for my GCSE results last week. It's really outstanding, well worth especially at 16 years old. Both of allegiance, values and standards, respect for others. Well done, man. For me, I'm quite proud of what I've done like, and quite excited to see what I'm going to do in the future with my career. And my family are really proud of me, nervous for what... I'm going to have to do it in the future and when you talk to people about it, people just think it's signing up, just that's it, you're in, but it's, it takes a lot more than that to get into the army. It's been highlighted to Mary, she has the potential of becoming an officer in the army, 
which is a path that you may want to consider in the future. It's a big change for me to, to go through and to, and to commit to and I feel like I've worked hard, I feel like I've done everything that's been asked of me and really it just means now I want to push myself forward and go on and do the best that I can and achieve as much as I can in the army. We tend to sort of ride the journey with them, we see their ups and downs and actually it's a great sense of achievement for us to be able to mentor them throughout the journey. And this journey can take anything from three months to six months to a year for some people. Um, so we obviously feel their pain as well and um, we're so proud actually when we can offer them the job and we see them get attested and we always ask them to come back and let us know how they're getting on.